Hey squad, we're back again. And in this video, we're gonna be continuing the head to head between Logic Pro X, Pro Tools and Ableton Live 10, the delay plugins that sit in all of these three doors. In this one, we're gonna be checking out the fantastic delay plugins in Ableton Live 10. Now, if you haven't watched the other two videos I've done on Logic Pro X and Pro Tools plugins, make sure you check them out. The links will be on the screen. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we're now gonna do the demonstration in Ableton Live 10. And to be honest with you, one of the most exciting features in Ableton for me is the delays that are available to us when programming and when mixing and just generally creating for ideas, getting ideas for production that delays in this program are brilliant for that. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the audio clip which I've got here. Let's play that back. There's not a thing I can do. Okay, so that's the same clip as we used before. Now we're going to have a look for some of the delay plugins in Ableton. So we come up here to the search bar and type delay here. And now here are the, the stock delay plugins in Ableton. This top one right here, this is an audio effects rack. So we're not using that, that's something a little bit different. We're just gonna work with the echo, filter delay, grain delay, ping pong delay, and simple delay. Let's start with a simple delay. In fact, I'm just gonna drag and drop that here and it pops up on the audio track. So let's play that back and let's see what we got. So let's just zoom in and have a look at the controls again. It's unfortunate that you can't actually zoom the actual interface and the controls are a bit small and the detail small. So we're going to use our key command, which like I said, you check out the video to show you how to set that up. So I'm just using command option plus to go in. Right. So let's play that back again. Okay, so this is like Logic's stereo delay, really. We've got the delay time here. So if we set this to one and one, it's sort of like a slapback delay. And now if we went here, here's another one. Okay, and all the way up. And then, of course, you can have different intervals for the different um, left and right channels. So we can synchronize to the Ableton project or not. We can go just by switching to time and adjusting the delay time exactly to what we're looking for. Okay. And the final thing you can do is switch link on. So we'll simply be controlling everything by the top control here. So now what we're going to do is we'll just have a quick look at some of the presets. So let's switch that on and go here. Okay, and let's try one more. How about this one? Harmonics. Again, very interesting, but I mean, as a simple stereo delay, I think this is a great option. Let's try the ping pong delay. Let's hear that. Okay, stop that. So let's try this one right here, ping. Okay, so as you can see, the feedback is all the way up to 90%. So that's going to go on forever. Um, let's try that again. Okay, cool. Um, what's cool about this one is that you've got an EQ here where you can adjust the cutoff uh, frequency, how much content you want to keep in. And, and it's really nice and smooth and simple. Okay. And that's real simple. Again, controls are real simple. The wet dry, the amount of feedback, the intervals right here. And of course you've got the EQ right here or filter that you can filter out certain frequencies. And sync to tempo or not. So that's the ping pong delay. Let's try something else. We're going to try the grain delay. Let's see what that does. There's not a thing I can do. There's not a thing I can do. Right, we're straight out the box. There's nothing going on. So let's try bring one of these in. Okay. 
So that's interesting. Now what you've got, you've got quite a few different parameters that you can adjust within this grain delay. Let's say for example, we were to mess with the pitch right here. So that's interesting. I mean, being able to adjust that and maybe even automate it on occasion. Okay, that's cool. Let's just pull up a couple more and then move on. How about this minor third up? <laughs> that's really interesting. And yeah, you could just have a little mess about, see what you can find. Five. Cool. All right. So that's the grain delay. Now you've got a fair number of options there you can mess with. Filter delay. Now this is one of my main ones that I'd use when I'm working in Ableton. Okay. So what's cool about this is you've got three delay patterns. One to the left, one center and a left, right. And you can adjust them independently in terms of the delay time, amount of feedback, the pan position, volume, of each one independently. And this is really cool. And I use this a great deal. Also, you've got the filter section right here. So if we went fully wet like this. Yeah, this is a really, really handy effect and you know, you can do a lot with it. Let's see what the presets are looking like. Okay, I mean, you get the idea. Let's go to Echo. Let's try this one here. There's not a thing I can do. Now that's really interesting. Um, let's try this one. There's not a thing I can do. So what we've got here is a set of controls. We've got our left, right controls. We've got sync options, the input level, feedback control, both left and right. We've also got a reverb section that we can apply, a filter or EQ curve here that you can adjust right here. Uh, modulation, quite complex and you can do a great deal with it. In effect, you've got some really powerful delays here in Ableton, which are again, very, very useful, very musical. And for me, they definitely inspire production ideas. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at how uh, the delays work on a very simple melody. So I've got all of the delays already plugged in. As you can see, this first one right here is from the Echo. So let's switch that on and have a listen. Okay, cool. Let's try some, let's try another preset. Uh, let's try this one. That's turning a very basic melody into something quite a lot more interesting. Let's just change this here to about maybe 116. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But yeah, you can see the possibilities of using the echo. And let's go to the filter delay now. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's pull up a preset. Okay, and let's try something else. Uh, let's try this one, simple filter.
And again, let's quickly go to the grain delay, see what we've got here. Um, let's fold these away. So I'm going to right click on this and choose fold. You can also use the key command minus. So the minus and plus key commands will open or close a selected device down here. So, so this one's selected. So I'm going to press plus and then minus and then I choose this one. Make sure it's selected and then minus. And we're going to be working on the grain delay. So let's pull up a preset. Now that's interesting. That's something that you probably wouldn't come up with just straight off the top of your head. You know, um, let's try bubbles. Cool. And finally, it's five. Cool. Again, lots of possibilities there. I'm not going to spend too much time on this and ping pong real quick. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Nice and simple. Let's take some of the feedback off. Great. Simple delay and we're done. Let's try a preset. Cool. So again, all very useful, all very musical and can really inspire ideas for your production. Now, as always, I do hope you found this video useful and interesting. Make sure you drop me a line, send me some feedback. Tell me what you think. If you're feeling what I'm doing, it'd be great if you were to subscribe and like the video. Also, switch on your notification bell because I'm going to be very busy doing more head to heads between Logic Pro X, Ableton Live and Pro Tools. I'm going to be also releasing some non-comparison videos that will help you along your journey in each of those doors. It's great having you on board and I look forward to catching up with you real soon. I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.